once again testing out my new microphone. There were just too many mosquitoes outside. I have panic disorder. Fun topic for today. No, we're going to have fun. Simon, Simon, Simon. I'm testing out my new microphone. Thought we could talk about anxiety for a little bit. Simon keeps interrupting. But welcome to the vlog. By the way, I'm not saying I have a solution, but I think I have hope. I am not making this video claiming I have any answers to anything. Just a heads up. But I do have quite a bit of experience because I've lived it. Why are we talking about things that are wrong with us? I guess because the more we talk about it out loud, the less alone we feel if we are struggling with these things. Now the sun is setting, so we might have to move locations again. Let's just have some fun with this vlog and see where it leads. This is just as much for me as it is for you. I wasn't going to film this. I kind of didn't feel like I should film this. I didn't really want to film this, but then I woke up this morning feeling off kilter, feeling a little weird. And I thought, maybe this is my body telling me, maybe this is something telling me that I should make this video. So I'm gonna make it. My immune system's kind of falling apart. Ignore whatever, I don't know. Unsightly, hopefully my hair is, you know, not a mess. I'm just gonna hold this. I don't like it on my shirt. Maybe next time. It's a very gloomy day here in Chicago. So I'm not being offered the sunlight that I did have mid-summer. Let's offer a bit of uh, light in this darkness, shall we? Where it all started. It all started when I was in my 20s. I had always been a worrier, hypochondriac, an anxious. I was an anxious kid, I guess. I don't know. But I never worried about my heart. I was able to drink caffeine. Never thought about passing out. I never had panic something shifted. There was a tragic loss in my family. I won't go into that, but yes, there was something big happened in my family. And was that a catalyst? I would think so because that's kind of around the time it started. I was 20, 21. So I'm not really sure, but I do know it starts with fear. Fear. Fear is a big thing. It all starts with fear. I just started having episodes where I thought for sure I was dying. I thought, I don't know, a heart attack, but something even deeper than that. My symptoms were heart racing, like really racing, hyperventilation, dizziness, difficulty breathing, tingling hands, tingling legs, tingling body, extreme nausea, I can't eat, feeling like disconnected from reality, kind of like a paranoia, thinking I've gone insane, everything looks scary, tunnel vision, if it's really bad, uh, like teeth chattering, the list goes on and on. I like to keep things fun, so it's hard to have an episode be about this but I think it can be important to talk about these things. One reason I don't want this to be a solution video is because a frustrating part about anxiety and panic disorder is people pitching you remedies, solutions, all of that kind of stuff, because when they don't work, it feels worse. It's frustrating and you think they should work and if it's, it's okay if they don't work, that's what I'm trying to say. It's okay if they don't work, not everything's gonna work. What are some solutions you might be offered? Medication or some sort of substance? I don't know how vague I wanna keep this. In my personal experience, I did not choose medication. There are some things that can be used in an emergency. I don't know, I'm gonna probably get hate for this video. I just didn't wanna be on medication. Obviously some of those things will work for some people and some of them won't. Meditation, this is a big one. People will act like meditation is just a cure-all. What's kind of funny is it is something that's very very much helped me, but not, not the way I think. It's talked about as if it's just like you can meditate mid-panic or something, or it's just immediately gonna change your life. I think it's a great tool to train yourself to be more in control of your thoughts and see your thoughts for what they are, but it's not a cure-all. Breath work. Breath work can be terrifying. Breath work can cause panic attacks. Paying attention to your breath is not always 
what uh, an anxious person wants to do or feels comfortable doing. So if breathwork didn't work for you or it scares you, that's fine. Exercise. I was lucky enough to become adverse. Averse. Averse. Sensitive. <laughs> Let's use that word. <laughs> to exercise. The rate, heart rate going up with workouts. I had some scary experiences that sent me down a whole spiral of being worried about exercise. I'm still kind of getting back into running and those types of things. I will say going for a walk can be super helpful. Sometimes when you're mid panic, people think like, just lay down. That's sometimes too much is going on to just lay down. You can't just go to sleep and it's all over. Here's the big one, therapy. I'm not making this vlog to completely diss therapy, okay? It can be helpful for some things, but for me, talk therapy did not help my panic disorder. In my experience, and I've had panic disorder now for like 15 years, off and on, like I'm not saying like 15 straight years of panic. It's it's a roller coaster. It's a roller coaster. You, here's the thing. These episodes, these symptoms are very temporary, right? Sometimes a panic attack can last 10 minutes to an hour. Uh, it ranges. You are the person that is there when these things are happening. You are the only one who can deal with them. You are alone in this. That doesn't sound good, does it? It's not a bad thing. You can do it. They're not gonna be there when you're going through it. And in my experience, and, and I feel like I do have experience in this, I've gone through like five therapists in my life. Okay, I lied. One of my therapists did say something that was helpful, but I don't think it was related to panic. My very first therapist would sometimes say, what's the worst that could happen? That can be helpful, I guess, because yeah, you can imagine, what if I do pass out? What if I do, you know, this, that? If you kind of accept the worst thing that could happen, hey. Like I said, this is not a solution video. This is a, um, I'm here for you video. Okay, let's take another break. The bar spins around. The bar spins. You should just be like, the bar spins. The bar spins. Yeah. <laughs> you should just say that the bar spins on the blog. The bar spins. Stone facing out and then spin it up. This bar is slowly spinning. Can you tell? <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> There's no caffeine in there. If you've watched this vlog before, you know that I am a musician, performer, singer, all of that stuff. So you might be wondering, has, you know, being on stage, has that caused panic attacks? You'd think so, right? No. For some reason, that was not my source of panic, which I feel like there is a misunderstanding about panic attacks. Some people, or when I was first getting it, maybe it was a different time you would find people being like, oh my God, yeah, I when I would have a big exam coming up or something that was stressful, I would have panic attacks. Sure, but that's uh, most of the time panic attacks, there's no explanation for them. It's not related to anything. You could be having a good time and a panic attack will hit. Uh, my point is, yeah, I haven't had panic attacks by caused by going on stage, which is weird. However, this did sort of change one show that I had to do a couple years ago. It was in a very hot, stuffy place that did not have air conditioning. It was midsummer, very warm, light shining on you. Probably I was not dressed properly. And you know, when you're performing, you also work up a sweat. Okay, I guess my point with this story is you can kind of be pigeonholed as a crazy person 
or an anxious person or a panicky person because I definitely overheated at that show. Combined with my anxiety, it probably was way worse. However, I don't think the people, I'm not blaming them. I don't think the people around me fully understood because if you haven't experienced that, all my anxious people, you get what I'm talking about. All my panicky people out there, you just don't understand. So I did get too hot and I think everyone around me, except for a nurse who was in the audience and told me to go take my shoes off and stand in the grass outside. Thank you to her. Thank you for understanding. I think a lot of people around me thought I was just being anxious, thought I was being crazy, thought I was being me. Just, oh, that's, she's overreacting, you know? She's panicking. It can be frustrating to kind of get that label put onto you. It doesn't define you. Panic disorder, panic attacks don't define you. Anxiety doesn't define you, okay? You're, you're not a weakling, you're a warrior. Did I say that already? It's really cheesy, but it's true. While I am not claiming to have any solutions, I will share what has helped me. First of all, don't be ashamed of what you're feeling. Having to hide it only adds to it. Your true friends will understand. Try to be open about it. I know it's hard. Don't be worried about perception, but trust that you are way stronger than you think. You can be scared and strong at the same time. Get smarter, become more knowledgeable about how your mind and body works. Do some research. A book that I read that actually was very helpful was by Claire Weeks. So you can look that up. Okay, meditation. If you can use it as a tool to help you see your thoughts for what they are, let them pass, separate them from yourself, know that some thoughts are just there trying to make things seem scarier than they really are, and you don't have to believe them, meditation can be a game changer. But also be patient with it. It's not gonna be overnight. Having a sense of humor. Laughter is healing. Laugh at yourself if you can. It might get really dark at points, but focus on the light. Take each bad day as part of the learning curve. It's not going to be linear. And know that you will be okay. Believe that you are capable because you are. Stop believing that you aren't, even if you've had a bad day. Channel your pain into some form of art if you can. That definitely helped me. Most of all, it was just knowing that I'm not broken. That this struggle was not going to prevent me from living a full life or doing the things that I love. I wish it was in a cuter package. They say if you're mid panic attack, um, sucking on a lemon can help or something that's shocking to the system. So I have right here some Barnett's super sour candy. Um, I'm not having a panic attack right now, but I just thought I would be a fun portion of the vlog. <sighs> Do I feel like putting myself through this right now? Did I have red last time? Okay. Oh boy, here we go. How is it? Not too bad yet. <laughs> <laughs> Not too bad yet. Okay. Delicious. It just tastes really bad. This isn't that sour. There's something wrong with me. <laughs> this was not that sour. Really? Mm -hmm. Did it lose its luster? I mean, that's kind of how I felt when I had mine. I was like, hey, what the heck? Am I crazy? Here, you try one again. All right. All right. It's Wait, look at that <laughs> shirt. Okay. I'm going to try. This guy's got a cool shirt. <laughs> I'm going to try yellow. <clears throat> Is it sour? Nothing will help me during a panic attack. <laughs> sour. Yeah, I mean, it's just really sour, but... I think you need to see a doctor. People on YouTube are going like, like they're dying. Maybe this batch is bad. I don't know. Maybe we got a bunk batch. It's sour, yeah. It's very, it's definitely like one of the- This was not that sour. Most sour things I've had, but it's not like unbearable.
let's start concluding this whole video. Like I said, I don't have a solution, but I have hope. I'm not cured per se, but I'm not so afraid. And look at me, I'm perfectly okay. I'm doing swell. I, I think anybody in my position or your position, if you were late, you, you don't want pity. You don't want somebody to feel sorry for you. Life is hard for a lot of people. Life is hard for a lot of people. There are a lot of things going on. I think toughening up is seen as kind of an old school mentality. But if you kind of take on a, how do I word this? A quest to toughen up in your own way. It's a decent motto to view life with. You know, you, you can find the things that bring you comfort, find the things that do help. Because even though I was mentioning all the things that didn't work for me, there's definitely things that do work for me. Find those things. Find the music that can be the soundtrack to your life. Playing in the background. Put your chin up and stay strong. Uh, march along to your own uh, drums. <laughs> It's a thorn in our side and we all have one. And I almost feel like these things are there for me personally. Again, I'm just speaking for me. I feel like these things are, are great for reminding me of getting through those little victories is so empowering. It makes the little things matter so much more. Other people would not understand. You know what I mean? When you get through some of these episodes and get to the other side, come out the other side, the world looks so much brighter so much brighter than it did before. Maybe you've seen some darkness, but someone's got to, right? Someone's got to see the darkness. But what doesn't help is trying things that don't work and feeling like you failed, feeling like there is no light at the tunnel, because there is light at the end of the tunnel. Did I say at the tunnel? Light at the end of the tunnel. At least I'm catching myself on these mistakes. Sometimes remedies don't fix you, but time and experience will. And the time and experience builds character. Let's say that, right? The world is a confusing place right now. So your own mind should be a source of comfort and stability, you know, in these, in these murky waters. And it can be. Don't be discouraged. Sometimes you got to go a little insane uh, to find s true sanity. I'm going to get hate for dissing therapy. I'm going to hate, get hate for dissing some of those solutions that are pitched by people, including doctors. I said I'd use my vlog as therapy. Here we are again. So sorry for no real answers, but thank you for being in this space. This is as much for me. This is as much for you as it is for me, as, for anyone watching. So this is CQ. Peace, real peace, true peace true inner peace. Peace out. Have a non-gloomy day. I can't wink. Bye.